there, Crystal Covington here, founder of Women of Denver, here to share one of our member features. Our featured member today is Rachel Gerlach, and she's going to share a little bit about all the amazing things she does in the world, how she provides <laughs> value and impact to other people, and what she loves about being a member of Women of Denver. Good to talk with you, Rachel. Good to talk with you. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for being here. So my first question for you is to tell us a little bit about um, what you do in your career and how you landed to this point in your life. Oh my gosh, I'm going to try to keep it brief because it's, <laughs> I'm sure like many, it has taken, <laughs> right? It's been like all over. Um, what I do is I own an integrative health center. We have three main pillars that we uh, focus on and that is functional nutrition therapy, functional health and coaching. And the coaching uh, covers anything from life coaching, health coaching, career coaching. Um, we have a psychotherapist on staff as well. And what we do is help individuals really up level their well being. So, our, for example, our, our demographic is mainly women 30 to 50. They are busy, they're moms or they're professionals. They're um, continually rescheduling themselves. They feel like something is off in their body, but they don't know what it is. They get the, you know, the, the pat on the back from the doctor, everything's fine. And they work with us to really uncover root cause of, you know, where is their energy? What's happening? Is it their thyroid? Is it their hormones? And then how to support them nutritionally and emotionally to get to that, you know, that elevated place that they once remember, like when we had all that energy and we felt like, oh my gosh, we could go for hours on end. Um, so that is what we do at Nutrition Works. Nice. Thanks. Yeah. So how did you get to this point? Like what brought you to start your own nutrition center? Well, um, I grew up in Northern Wisconsin, living off the land, literally. Um, and so I always had a connection to food and well-being, but then I went to college and did the corporate America thing. And then unfortunately, or fortunately, I would say, um, unfortunately, there was a series of events that happened to some loved ones where I was like, there's got to be a different way to approach how we support people. And I had these two little babies and I thought, what am I bringing them into? Like what, what I was selling windows and doors, like and to construction sites. And I was like, this is not, I don't, I didn't feel like I was contributing. Yeah. So I uh, did some soul searching and went to my roots to say, what do I believe? And I believe that the way we nourish ourselves and our relationships and what we're exposed to affects how we show up on a daily basis and affects our health. And discovered that there was a career called nutrition therapy and and nutrition therapy institute is in denver and it was down the road from my house and i was like wow this is it so i went back to school and started with just nutrition therapy and then learned very quickly that handing protocols isn't quite the solution either so i went and got um a couple different coaching certifications because I knew that the psychology was really where we saw the shifts, right? Yeah. Really, yeah. And, and that was the game changer. And then from there, I took in a whole nother direction where I was in Panama city one day and I was like, I, I need every woman to do this. Like I need every woman to be their own entrepreneur and never have a glass ceiling again and be limited if they have a baby or they have to take care of a loved one or, whatever their situation is. And I just then decided I was going to change my whole, um, my whole process in the sense of it was just me and bring in other women that did what I do and allowed them to be the author of their careers. Yeah. And it's been amazing. <laughs> that's powerful. It's amazing when you can bring new opportunities for other people. I mean, that's serious impact. Yeah, it was, it was, I read the book Unfinished Business by Anne-Marie Slater and I was like, that's it. It was done. It was a done deal. I'm like, how many people can I hire? Like, <laughs> I want them all. <laughs> it was amazing. And I just, I just went for it and it's been so rewarding since. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that story. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about some of your most recent accomplishments. <sighs> 
it's so funny. How are you winning? Right? When you, it's so funny, my world, like I'm so used to asking the questions. And then when I have to do my own self-reflection, I'm like, oh, I'm in the hot seat now. Um, accomplishments. We've had a lot the last couple of years. So I would say the accomplishment has been going from a tiny little itty bitty consulting room to a four um, office suite with seven contract um, coaches and therapists working for us, right? <laughs> yep. And I didn't completely lose my mind. Um, another accomplishment has been, <laughs> for all of you who are in it, deciding that you are no longer going to um, spend all of your time in the business, but you're going to work on the business. Yes. That's so huge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Re <laughs> relinquishing control and, and allowing others to prove their trust and hiring the right individuals to support is like, you know, I'm I, I think we all do. We still kind of get in our head a little bit, but it's yep. been so wonderful. Like that for me was like, okay, I got to step back. And, um, and then it kind of goes to that core value too, of right? Like supporting other women entrepreneurs. So I think that that has been a really big accomplishment for myself. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love that. That's something I hear a lot because we have a lot of members that um, are at that positional place where their business is getting to a is in a transitional phase so maybe they're we have some people that are getting they have like brick and mortars and they're getting new locations and they're trying to figure that part out or some people that have products that they distribute and they're trying to grow and get into new stores and all that kind of thing and it's just that knowing that in order for us to get to this next level i have to be that real leader and it means trusting people with the things that I used to do and hold close to my heart as things that I was really great at and give them the chance to grow in it because they're not going to be as good as you. They're never going to Right? Be. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Thank you for saying that because sometimes I'm like, is that true? Is that my own thing? But no, we all, we all bring our own uniqueness and our own gifts and yeah. allowing people to do it their way and it still gets done. Mm -hmm. um, and it opens up so much opportunity for yourself and others. Nice. Yeah. All right. So I'd love to know, so you are a newer member to Women of Denver. And so I want to know, what are you most excited about? Who are you? What kinds of people are you excited to meet? And what are you excited to get out of being a part of Women of Denver? Yeah, I literally clicked the button last week. <laughs> so we're talking fresh. Yeah. <laughs> I am uh, I'm really excited to meet other women who are um, interested in evolving themselves. Right? Like they value that and they prioritize it and they're real about it and they're drivers and um, we can have these conversations of just like you said like giving the trust over and to somebody else and what that feels like. So connecting with those women who are out there, they're doing it and we share the same experiences because I really do believe that life is, we all have the same experiences. We just have different perceptions of them and that we can really lean on each other to make this a little less bumpy and this being life. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That was actually one of the big reasons I started Women in Denver. I had that sense of isolation. Um, I was new to Denver. I, I had just moved to the community and been here for about a year. And I wanted to meet people, not just people. So I'd been to different groups and, um, and it was great. I was meeting people, but I wanted that community of women that were, um, Say that again, how you looking for, oh, I forgot your wording. I was going to try to remember your wording for the future, but <laughs> I don't I know if I remember. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to re, you know, rewatch this and, and see what that wording was. And I'm going to start using it, but basically women who wanted to grow and you used a really interesting articulation of it a second ago. Um, but basically I wanted to be around those people, the women that like to develop and want to continue to, to do more things to make bigger impact. And so um, it's a very intentional choice to put yourself out there in that way to try to meet people in that to, to meet people like that so definitely share that goal with you um as far as those are the kind of people that i always want to be around 
Yeah, I think that's why I joined. I could feel that. I sensed that. And I'd met, you know, we all meet each other at events, but um, I had sensed that, that energy about you. I was like, if that's the leader, then that's who I follow, <laughs> right? Because you're exuding it. You're doing it. You're creating it. Yeah. And hopefully I can create even, even more in the Denver community and um, make a big impact. So thank you so much for taking the time and, you know, sharing a little bit about the impact that you're making and how you're um, supporting other women and building a business that's thriving and growing and helping people find better health. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're very welcome. I'm so excited to see what um, is going to come from this and meet all of you amazing women out there. Great. So if you're interested in becoming a member of Women of Denver, visit us at thewomenofdenver.com, shoot me a message or shoot a message at the bottom of this post and I will get in touch to tell you a little bit more about who we are and how you can get to know our incredible members. Thanks so much. Have a good one.